are watching the cookbook season 2 powered by Black & Decker. Chef, have you heard this saying that you should never say no to cake? I would rather say never say no to desserts. That's wonderful. So you got the hint, right? You're longing for a cake? Okay. I am. <laughs> so I have something on my mind for today. Uh, you've heard of cheesecakes. Philadelphia cheesecake, New York cheesecake, strawberry cheesecake, blueberry cheesecake. All right, all right, all right. That's it. That's it. Don't take me into the dream world of cheesecakes. Are you making Indian a cheesecake? Indian cheesecake. What is that? Have you heard of rubbery cheesecake? Oh my God, you're a genius, chef. Let us try one today. Let's do that right away. Okay. So let's start. Yes, let's start. Okay. Uh, I've got my baking tin ready. Mm -hmm. I've just uh, got it ready with a baking paper right underneath. Right over here, I've got my digestive biscuit and I have just powdered it and mixed it with melted butter. Lovely. Right? Okay, this would form the base of my cake. Okay. So I'll okay. just spread this around. Mm -hmm. Let me hold that for you. Yes, please, if you don't mind. Just a little more. Mm -hmm. And here's the proper even layered base for us okay. that forms the crust basically all Super. right i'm just gonna go ahead and chill this for like five minutes or okay. so so let's get to the main ingredient that's the rubbery itself in the beginning okay. all right this is uh, 500 ml of rubbery right okay. so what i'm gonna do is just give it a good whisk make sure that there is no lumps here mm -hmm. all right here mm -hmm. i'm gonna add yogurt okay I'm going to add four tablespoons of yogurt. Mm -hmm. One. To make it even more creamier. Yes, exactly. And four tablespoons of condensed milk. Right, condensed milk. Right. And this is a sweetened condensed milk, right? Sweetened milk actually, yes. Sweetened evaporated milk. Two spoons of refined flour. Okay. And one full tablespoon of corn flour. Okay. I'll just give it a quick mix. All right, that looks ready to go. And I'll just bring the, the tin mold out. Sure, go ahead. I'm just going to pour this in right now. Okay. And I'm just going to cover it with a half oil. And I'm going to drop a little water here. This is called as baking with water bath. So let me just go ahead and put this in the oven. So chef, how long is the cheesecake going to be under baking? I had preheated the oven before itself, okay. before I placed my cheesecake inside and now I uh, put the temperature setting at 180 degrees mm -hmm. and we are going to bake it for 35 minutes. 35 minutes only to You a... have to wait that long though. I can wait that long for a wonderful rubbery cheesecake. And 35 minutes are done and our cheesecake is ready, Chef. Yes, it is. Let's let's reveal. Let's do that. Here we go. Oh my Ooh. god. Looks nice. Looks okay. very nice. It's hot though, so okay. what I will be just doing is it's pretty hot and you never have a cheesecake that is hot. So mm -hmm. we have to cool it down. So for which I would just remove the water from the from the water bath here. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to put it on the same tray back mm -hmm. and ideally I should leave this out for 20 minutes here. 
and then I'm gonna chill it for two hours in the refrigerator. Does that mean it's gonna take longer, chef? So it looks like you're eager to have a cheesecake right away. I am. So let me tell you, I've gone ahead and pre-made a cheesecake and I'm gonna go ahead and bring it right now for you. I was hoping you'd say that. Thank you, chef. Welcome indeed. Here we go. What I'm just gonna do is just scrape it out from the side. Mm -hmm. So all set for me to dig into? No, not yet. I'm just going to finish it with a few garnish. Alright, all right. I'll let you do that. Okay, there we go. I'm going to take some pista right here. Almond flakes and some cashew nuts. Just making it a little more richer. That's all. Richer and fancy as you always like it. And some saffron. Just a few strands right on top. And my final special touch, that is a gold powder. Oh! And if you'd like to have flowers as garnish, you can do it. I got one spare. And there we have our rubbery cheesecake. Chef, how would anyone ever feel like spoiling this beautiful looking cheesecake? Go ahead and just bite into it, simple as that. I am going to do that, but who would have thought that rubbery and cheesecake could be combined into one dish? Nevertheless, our chef here has managed to do that. Thank you so much, chef. Welcome indeed. For more such very interesting and wonderful recipes to try out in your kitchen, do come back to The Cookbook Season 2, powered by Black & Decker, Make Life Easier. For the rubbery cheesecake, Line a baking tin with biscuit mixture for the base. In a mixing bowl, take 500 ml rubbery, 4 tablespoon yogurt, 4 tablespoon condensed milk, 2 tablespoon refined flour, 1 tablespoon corn flour. Whisk together. Pour the mixture in the baking tin. Cover the tin with aluminium foil. Place the tin on a baking tray and add water. Bake in a preheated oven at 180 degrees for 35 minutes. Chill the baked cheesecake in the refrigerator for 2 hours. Demold the cheesecake and garnish with chopped nuts, saffron, gold powder and rose petals.